Hello everyone and welcome to the set 1 of IEEE 754 solve problems. In this session, we are going to observe some solve problems on IEEE 754 standards. So, without any further ado, let's get to learning. Coming to the outcome of today's session, today, we will observe three solve problems on IEEE 754 single and double precision standards. Observe the first question. Consider a 32-bit register which stores floating point numbers in IEEE single precision format. So yes, we already know in case of IEEE single precision, which is actually named as binary 32, we will need a 32-bit register in order to store the floating point numbers. Now we are to find out the decimal value of the following 32 bits given in this particular pattern and also in case of this pattern. So let's begin with the first one. If you observe, the 32 bits are given as, here the sign bit is 0, then in the exponent field, we have the bit sequence 1000 followed by 0011. Coming to the mentisa, we have two ones in the beginning and the rest of the cells are filled with zeros. So let's try to solve it. Coming to the exponent field, if you observe, there are 8 bits in the exponent, right? Now if we try to determine the place values, the LSB in here has the place value of 1, that is 2 raised to the power 0. This bit has the place value of 2 raised to the power 1, that is 2. This one has the place value 4. This one has the place value 8. Then here we have the place value as 16. Now for this one, the place value is 32. Then again for this one, the place value is 64. And finally for the MSB, the place value is 128. Now we have ones placed under the place values 128, 2 and 1. So clearly, the biased exponent is going to be 131, that is 128 plus 2 plus 1, leading towards the biased exponent 131. Now coming to IEEE single precision, we know the bias is 127, correct? Now in order to find out the true exponent, all we need to do is subtract the bias from the biased exponent. So 131 minus 127 will give us the true exponent as 4. Now let's try to determine the value. Now in the previous session only, we observed in case of all the IEEE 754 standard, we generally go with the implicit normalization form. So here as well, the implicit normalization formula will be used, that is, minus 1 raised to the power of the sign bit, multiplied by 1 point the mentisa of 23 bits, because if you remember, in case of single precision, the mentisa portion is of 23 bits, which will be multiplied with 2 raised to the power the biased exponent minus the bias, which we already have calculated as 4. So placing the respective value, this formula will become minus 1 raised to the power 0, because the sign bit is 0 in this case, then 1 radix point 2 ones, as we can see, we only have 2 ones in the mentisa portion, multiplied by 2 raised to the power 4, which happens to be the true exponent. Now this will give us 1, and multiplying 1 radix point 1 1 with 2 raised to the power 4, we will end up having triple 1 0 0. And how is so? From this exponent, if we take only 2, the radix point will be placed at the farthest right. Thereafter, for the remaining 2, we will have 2 more zeros. So that's how we will end up having 1 1 1 0 0. Now let's go with the place values. This one is 1. This is 2, this is 4, this is 8, and this is 16. Now, 16 plus 8 is 24, and 24 plus 4 will give us the decimal value 28. So, basically, these 32 bits are going to represent the decimal value 28. Now, let's move on to the second part. We are to find out the decimal value represented by this particular 32-bit pattern. So, let's try to solve it. Now, observe the exponent part carefully. Here, we have all 8 ones. That is, the biased exponent is of 255. Now, if you remember, we already discussed, in the range of exponent values, two patterns are not necessarily used in order to represent the range of the values in the exponent. And what are the patterns? All zeros and all ones. Now, coming to the exponent in here, it has all ones. Now, if the exponent is all ones, and in the mentisa portion, if we have all zeros, then we can represent either negative infinity or positive infinity based on the sign bit. But in here, the mentisa portion is not all zeros. So we will try out the next formula. That is, if E is 255 and if mentisa is not equals to zero, that is any pattern other than all zeros, that is going to represent not a number or nan. 
So clearly, this particular pattern is not going to represent any decimal value, rather it will represent not a number. Let's now move on to the next question. Observe this question. Consider a 64-bit register which stores floating point numbers in IEEE double precision format. Now we already know, in case of double precision, the bits required to store the floating point numbers is actually 64. Now we are supposed to find the decimal value of the following 64 bits, that is this particular pattern. And also we are being asked to find out the decimal value of this particular 64-bit pattern. So let's start with the first one. Now observe the bit sequence carefully. Let's start the decoding from the exponent part. Observe, here 11 bits are specified. And we know the MSB, which is the 11th bit, will have the place value of 2 raised to the power 11 minus 1, that is 2 raised to the power 10, which in decimal is 1024. And coming to the least significant two bits, if you observe, this one has the place value of 2, and this one has the place value 1. So, 1024 plus 2 will give us 1026, and 1026 plus 1 will result in 1027. So clearly, the biased exponent is representing the decimal value 1027. Now if you remember, in case of double precision, the bias is 1023. And in order to obtain the true exponent, all we need to do is subtract the bias from the biased exponent. So 1027 minus 1023 will give us the true exponent value as 4. Now let's try to obtain the value. We are going to use this particular formula of implicit normalized form which pertains to the double precision format. Now observe, here the sign bit is 1, and in the mantissa portion, we have the bit sequence 1, 1, 0, followed by 1, 1, and rest of the bits are zeros. Now coming to the exponent, it is the biased exponent minus the bias, which we have already calculated as 4. So if we place the appropriate values, this will become like this. Minus 1 raised to the power 1, multiplied by 1 radix point 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, multiplied by 2 raised to the power 4, which is the true exponent. Now, the multiplication of all these will give us the value minus 11101.1. So, let's now determine the equivalent decimal value. Observe, this one has the place value of 1, this has the place value 2, this has the place value 4, this one has the place value 8, and this one has the place value 16. So, 16 plus 8 will give us 24. And 24 plus 4 will give us 28. Now finally, 28 plus 1 will give us 29. So therefore, in this particular floating point number, the integer is going to be 29. Now coming to the bit place after the radix point, we know this has the place value of 0.5. So finally, the obtained decimal value will be minus 29.5. So basically, these 64 bits are representing the decimal value minus 29.5. Let's now move on to the second part. So in this case, these are the 64 bits. So let's try to solve it. Now observe carefully, here we have all 11 ones in the exponent field. That means the biased exponent is representing the value 2047. Now if you remember, when the exponent is 2047, based on what we have in the Mentisa field, we can either represent the positive or negative infinity or not a number, correct? Now let's see the Mentisa part. Here we have all zeros. So clearly we are going with this particular pattern. Now observe the sign bit. It is zero in this case. Therefore, these 64 bits will represent positive infinity. So basically, the trick to solve this type of question is, whenever we are given some patterns, we need to observe the exponent and the Mentisa fields very carefully before we proceed with the decoding. Let's now move on to the third question. Represent the number 116 of decimal in IEEE 754 single and double precision formats. So let's try to solve it. 116 in decimal is actually 1110100 in binary. Now, before we find out the respective patterns of this particular value in case of single and double precision, we need to determine the implicit normalized form, which in this case is going to be 1 radix point 110100 multiplied with 2 raised to the power 6. Now, why 2 raised to the power 6? Observe, we had 7 bits in here and it is an integer. Now, in case of an integer, we know the placement of the radix point naturally is at the furthest right. 
and due to implicit normalized form, we need to bring the radix point to the right hand side of the first one in the bit sequence. And for that, we had to move the radix point 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 bit places. And that is the reason why we have the exponent as 6. Let's now start off with the single precision. Now, if you remember, in case of single precision, the biased exponent we can calculate as taking the true exponent and adding the bias, which is 127, which will give us the value 133. Therefore, in the single precision, the value 116 will be stored as this pattern. Let me decode this for you. Here, it is a positive number and that's why the sign bit is set to 0. Now, coming to the 8-bit exponent, observe, we have 1 underneath the place value 128. Then again, we have 1 underneath the place value 4 and 1. So, 128 plus 4 gives us 132 and 132 plus 1 gives us the value 133, which is the biased exponent. Now, coming to the mantissa, we know after radix point, we have the bits 110100. 0, 1, 0, 0. So, 110100 0, 1, 0, 0, and the rest of the bits will be filled with zeros. So, this is the single precision representation of the value 116 of decimal. Let's determine the pattern for double precision. Here also, the biased exponent can be calculated by taking the true bias, that is 6, and adding the bias with it, which in case of 64-bit double precision is 1023. So, 6 plus 1023 will give us the value 1029. Therefore, the representation of 64 bits double precision of the value 116 is going to be something like this. Observe, here also the sign bit is 0 because of the same reason, that is, 116 is a positive value. Now, coming to the exponent part, observe the placement of the 1s. The MSB has the place value 1024. Thereafter, we have placed 1s in the places of 4 and 1. So, 1024 plus 4 will give us the value 1028 and 1028 plus 1 will give us the exponent 1029. Now, coming to the mantissa portion, we know after the radix point, we have the bits 110100. So, clearly we have placed that in here and the rest of the cells will be filled with zeros. Therefore, the representation of 116 in case of single precision will be like this and in case of double precision will be like this. So, in this session, we observe three solved problems on IEEE 754 single and double precision standards. Alright people, that will be all for this session. In the next session, we will observe some more interesting solved problems. So, I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you all for watching.